hack number two is adding search bar to accordion content. So we're not going to design all these others together, obviously, we're just going to import the demo content. We've designed the first one together and the principle remains the same throughout the whole video, basically, okay? So let me import demo content for hack number two now. So here's a nice example for you. So let's say you created an accordion section for answering questions like an FAQ or something like this. So you might have a series of several questions, a lot of content, obviously, to maybe to digest. If someone wants to look for something specific and doesn't want to scroll through all the questions one by one. So let's give you an example here. I know the word dummy is part of those and as you can see only two tabs are open now because these are the only two questions where the content where the word dummy is actually present as you can see okay now if i was to do the same with the word the the as you can see we have one two three four five questions open because the word the is present in those five different questions okay so this is basically how it works now, as you can see, the content is right here with all the different tabs. So you just put the question and then the answer underneath. OK, so very easily you can add them very easily like this. And then we have the special options here. So this is where you're going to insert the search bar here. So if you scroll down, as you can see, we have here search feature. So if you disable this, as you can see, it will not display. If you enable it, it will then display right on top, okay? So right here with the length. So what's this about? As you can see, it's set to three. So basically this is the amount of minimum characters that you need to type before the search starts. So we were looking for the term dummy. So if you type DU, nothing happens. But if I type DUM, as you can see, this will show us all the articles with DUM within uh, the content, okay? So this is basically it. And then we also have the place Holder. So this is basically what's written here, article name or keywords. So you could replace this with whatever you want, you know, so I could type maybe search through all the questions. As you can see, this has changed and you can change the icon as well. At the moment, it's magnifying glass. If you click on this, you can replace this with whatever you want, you know. So again, very simple and very efficient indeed.